Gerald Lucas here with another installment of Ask Gerald, where you get your real estate questions answered. Today's question comes from Ken, and Ken writes from New York City, and Ken is one of my students. Ken writes, as a real estate investor, why do you go all the way to Omaha, Nebraska every year to attend Berkshire Hathaway's shareholder meeting? Well, that's a great question, Ken. Uh, I am a shareholder of Berkshire Hathaway, so I do attend the shareholder meeting every year and I'm a huge fan and admirer of Warren Buffett and his business partner Charlie Munger so that's one reason that I go um, and although Warren Buffett is primarily known as a stock market investor Berkshire owns a real estate brokerage and Charlie Munger himself was a successful property developer but I sincerely believe that you get wiser and smarter by studying and emulating successful people. So to that end, I'm gonna share with you three things that Warren Buffett has taught me about real estate. And the first one is, never ask a barber if you need a haircut. So people who are paid to fix problems always seem to find problems, which is why I would never hire a home inspector to do renovation work for me on a property that I owned. Now the second thing that I that I learned from Warren Buffett about real estate is that the most important thing you need to do when you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. And I've learned this myself over the years owning property. Um, when I owned property that was losing money, you know at some point you've got to cut your losses. And it's can be very painful to come to terms with that. Um, but in those cases, <clears throat> when it is time to cut your losses, you're better off, and I was better off when I was in that situation, because had I not done that, I would have lost even more money. Now the third thing I'm gonna share with you that I learned about real estate from stock market investor Warren Buffett is that you'll never get rich paying too much for something. So in real estate, there's a saying that you make your money when you buy which is why it's so important as real estate investors that we never overpay for property. So thanks for your question, Ken. Good luck. For more real estate information and tips, visit my blog at GeraldLucas.com. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you again soon.